Now that we have our line drawn from one side of the chart to the other, let's take a look or a closer look at what we're actually going to be flying over. Because we want to make sure that we're not going to fly through any restricted areas or prohibited areas. Is there any kind of airspace that we need to avoid? So remember a restricted area is going to be in blue. A prohibited area is also going to be in blue. Reminder that we can fly through MOAs, but you have to remain extra vigilant in case they're doing any kind of military training. The other thing we want to pay particular attention to is our MEFs. This is maximum elevation uh, figures. And what this is showing us is what is the highest obstacle in this lat long grid box. And they round it up um, by and add 100 feet in non mountainous, and they round it up and add uh, 300 feet, I believe, in the mountainous area. So when we take a look at this, we depart out of Greenville. And it looks like they have uh, 2,700 feet is, there's an obstacle that's somewhere around 2,600 feet in this area. So we want to pay attention as we fly along. Now, when we get down into this grid box, it looks like 1,800. Down in this grid box, it looks like 1,200. And then coming down toward Columbia, we have 1,500. And if we happen to go into this grid box way over here, 2,200 and then down here 1,300. So again, what that lets me know is there's, that's the highest obstacle in that grid box. Let's say, for example, um, clouds started moving in or forming and I was forced to go to a lower altitude. I could quickly look at this number and realize that I would be safe as far as obstacle clearance if I went down that low. Now, I'm not saying that I want to fly that low by any means, but it's a real quick heads up to uh, what would be the minimum altitude that I would choose to fly in that area. So the other thing I may want to look at is, um, uh, of course, any special use airspace, any terrain such as mountains, um, are there any antennas, and I also can start getting an idea of like what I'm going to end up using for my checkpoints. So any kind of cities or railroad track crossings or interstates or anything like that. So I just want to definitely look over my uh, line that I've drawn to make sure that I'm not going to go into any airspace that I didn't mean to fly into.